What is up, Evil Crew? Today we are heading out to explore the darkest town in the world, Gerlock, Nevada. Gerlock is a small, secluded town in the middle of absolute nowhere with a population of just over 200 people. It's so dark that you can not only see the Milky Way galaxy, but also the Andromeda and Pinwheel galaxies with the naked eye. Now, you might be asking how exactly this was measured, and we were wondering that too before we headed out. Here's what we found. In 2012, NASA launched a satellite to measure and map the planet's light pollution. The largest dark area in America was in northwest Nevada and in the center of this mass of darkness lies the town of Gerlach, which is exactly where we're headed today. One person traveled to garlic with a garlic. Garlic. <laughs> <laughs> One person traveled to Gerlach with a sky quality meter and it read to be so dark that it didn't even show up on the meter's legend. So we wanted to see this for ourselves, guys. So we headed out to explore the strange town and scope it out at night, but things didn't go as planned. Watch to the end to see what happened. Let's go. The trip immediately started off with an interesting and creepy find in the middle of nowhere. We are not very far from the darkest place on earth, the darkest town on earth. We are going to go check out all these other cool things until it gets dark because we want to see how freaking dark this town is but we noticed something right down the road here it's a freaking closed cooler guys it is so creepy it is so creepy we are at the creepy cooler look at this and look at there looks like there's something coming out of the bottom yeah, even. some holes what the heck emma what do you think's in there dead cow small very small what i think, think probably some kind of oil or chemicals that someone's just dumped out here okay guys i think it's a dead animal too she thinks we're it's the, the same thing yeah we're the dead, like dead animal like, twins you yeah. <laughs> think it's emma's nose <laughs> First of all, let's see if it fills. Let's not put our hands on it. Let's touch it with our toes. I don't smell anything bad, so. Oh, it's definitely heavy. What? It's definitely heavy, guys. Something's leaking out the bottom. That is free. I'm not gonna touch it with my hands because if this is a crime scene, let me get a stick. Oh, there's flies. What? Oh flies. no, 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 ew! Mm -hmm. It oh feels really heavy, guys. God. And it really there's... smells. Do you have anything in a car that resembles a stick? Whoa. Emma's stick. arms. <laughs> no, we don't want to touch it with our hands. We definitely don't want to touch it because if, if there is something really disgusting in there, we definitely don't want our fingerprints on this at all. So. Ew, you know what that is, Dad? What? No, that's someone shot it up and that's what's coming out of there. Ew, Dude. look at that gross bug Dude, that just landed on Dad. it. Yeah, that's something blood coming There's out of there. There's blood coming out of there, dude. Or someone something shot it up. That looks like freaking blood. Ew, really that disgusting. Looks like hair, Dad. What is it, wire? Wire. Don't touch anything. Oh my goodness. That's just stereo cable. Yeah, that's what they used. Ew, there's a little... That's oh, it's a ladder thing. That's Disgusting. They, <laughs> that's what they used to pull your nose off. I almost wonder if it's like someone just dumped like oil or something in there and they're just like hiding it, but that's just weird. It's definitely something. How are you going to open something. it? Use the stick. I don't know. Don't worry. That might stink really bad. Turn your nose. Ugh. It's just like, it? a, like someone's cooler. They just left. Just move it oh my god. Let's show them what's in there. No! Oh. Why'd they leave all that? Oh, it smells really bad. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Guys, we didn't even need packed lunch today. We got a cooler full right there. It's Emma's favorite foods, too. Yeah, she'll eat anything. <laughs> <laughs> then we decided to head out to a hot springs called Frog Pond. We were hoping to find some frogs. There were a few warning signs around, but we didn't bother to read them because we weren't planning on going into the water. See, look at it. In the middle, you can actually see where it's coming out of the ground. Really hot over there. But this started out... I hear somebody? That's cows, huh? Um... I can't tell what the heck that is. You hear that? I like somebody yelling. Yeah, oh, it might be somebody yelling because we're trust passion. Let's listen. Well, if there was a person yelling, we'll find out in a moment, guys. Anyways, this started out as a frog farm frog in farm. here. That's what this started out as, and that was a long time ago, but now I guess there's, I don't see any frogs or anything. Thought I heard someone yelling over there. Let's go read the sign. Let's go. Soon after, we actually bothered to go read one of the signs, and it turns out the water is contaminated with E. coli and cholera, which actually made 30 people sick in 2018. So this was some dangerous water, you guys. Yes, you don't want to be swimming in this hot springs. While we didn't find any frogs, we did find these. Big horn sheep right there. And I know the Burning Man event likes to act like there's absolutely no animals. It's devoid. Why don't we just quickly pan over and show them exactly where the event is. The playa is right there, and it's supposed to be devoid of all 
all wildlife. But yes. look right there. I guess those are imaginary bighorns. They're aliens. <laughs> Maybe they're aliens. <laughs> then we went to go check out another hot springs in the area known as Trago Hot Springs. So you could bend your foot and leg. Trago Hot Springs. Pretty nice, but you gotta be careful for brain-eating amoebas. Spider, spider, guys, spider. Oh my god. Spider. Oh, wow. Should I touch him? Touch his butt. I'm gonna touch your butt. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, for somewhere's right around this area, guys, there's a gravesite of, of two people who died out here. I don't know the story. We're gonna see if we can find their gravesite, and then if not, we're gonna go to the world's darkest town. Let's go. We weren't able to find the grave, so we decided to cross the playa where Burning Man takes place every year. And if you don't know what Burning Man is, Burning Man is an annual event on the Black Rock Desert Playa, which claims to be the largest leave no trace event in the entire world. Guys, this spot is a little dangerous because I literally saw a photo of a car online that got smashed by a train going through here. So we gotta be super sneaky and careful, don't we, Dad? Yes. Cross your fingers, guys. Smash the like button so we don't die. Hit the sub button and hit the bell. Now we'll live. Thank you, guys. Woo, woo. Oh my gosh, guys, look at it. It says impassable when wet and it might be wet. It's storming. We're gonna have to go slow and be super careful. Let's go. Last year, Burning Man failed to meet the Leave No Trace standards at certain inspection sites, but still somehow they passed the BLM's cleanup inspections, which makes me wonder, who are they paying off in the BLM? During their event every year, they set up a temporary city in the middle of the playa with a population of 70,000 for a week. When we were out there, we didn't expect to see them preparing for the event so soon in the year, but this is what we saw. All right, guys, check it out. We are in a dust storm here. Look at all around us. We cannot see anything. No, we can't see anything at all. It's like, what the heck? We don't even know where we're going. We might end up lost or stuck here, guys. On the playa. With the hippies. That'd be very scary. Yeah. Hope that doesn't happen. Dad. I see something over there. Yeah, there's the airplane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the airplane. Okay. We noticed a huge plane, which we later found out is a huge source of contention and infighting, even within the Burning Man community. There have been some pretty big fights over this. Yeah, you can literally find them all over the internet if you go and look for them. It's just look for the 747 at Burning Man, and you're going to find plenty of people who are really upset because they destroyed a lot of land the last time they brought this out. So we were surprised to see so much heavy equipment working on the playa. It seemed a little odd considering Burning Man claims to be the largest Leave No Trace event in the world. World. Then we started to spot tons of animals around the, the playa. Oh my god, look at look at oh my god. Guys, what's happening with that antelope? It stopped pooping now, it's good. He had it dumped. After crossing the playa, we were hungry. Like always. So we took a random road and weren't expecting to find anything, but then we found this. It says, no matter what you think of this road, remember the price is right. Whatever the hell that means. Uh, I think a crazy person made this, guys. Alternative to the negotiation is ground zero, whatever that means. It was somewhat interesting, but kind of weird. Let us know what you think in the comments below. It's crazy talk. Before we went to the darkest town in the world, we decided to try to get a look at the fly geyser. Now, the fly geyser is literally a man-made geyser that was formed when someone was drilling for water. But for some freaking reason, many seem to think it's a natural resource, and the Burning Man project who purchased the land blocked it off so we couldn't get to see it. But to be fair, it was also blocked off because it was private property before. But you have to pay $40 per head to tour the fly geyser, which is a little ironic when the group claims to be radically inclusive. Most people can not afford to pay $40 per head to just go see a man-made freaking geyser in the middle of nowhere. We were able to zoom way in and you could kind of see it here from the outside. It's not as good as some other pictures on the internet, but we kind of got to see it. If you guys would like to see us make a video exposing the freaking hypocrisy of Burning Man, smash that like button and comment down below. If we reach 20,000 likes, we will make a video covering this in depth, guys. Now, it's not the fact that people are out there having a party that we have a problem with. It's a hypocrisy of the event itself. You guys want to go out there and have fun? That's fine. But these people like to try to tell everybody else, like people who like to go off-roading and four-wheeling, that how much they hate seeing people's tire marks in the dirt or sand around the playa while they go and do all this on the playa and all around the playa, their art installations are left and everything else. We decided it was time to head to Gerlach to explore, expecting to find it completely empty. Instead, we found Squirtle. They think they're Squirtle. <laughs> 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 she thinks she's squirtle. Did you see that? We decided to go out and explore and see if we can pinpoint the filming locations from a movie called Far From Home starring Drew Barrymore. Now, this is like a cult movie, it's like a B budget production. Oh, there's 
There's one right there. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Let's get out. So I'm scared. <laughs> oh my god, that's men in skirts. This is it. This is the building. Oh, look up oh, there. Wow. Look up there, guys. It's like those videos where they get them and they pull out the little larva and they squish them. You really like those? Love ones? that stuff. Let's go. So as you can see, it's pretty freaking crowded here. A lot more crowded than we were hoping. They're watering the picnic table. <laughs> <laughs> Grow big and strong. Yard worker and a carpenter. Well, if I get to be cool around these big chickens, off, uh, then I'll take it. The buffalo right there. Whoa. <laughs> Look at it. It's everything. It's an ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite one. Right, let's go back. I don't want to leave my car too. Crackhead dude standing by it, like sitting down by it, you know what I mean? Oh, I hate when that happens. Usually this place is freaking silent, completely silent. But we thought we were gonna come here and be able to show you the world's darkest town. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for it to get dark, and then we're gonna shoot up in the mountains, and we're gonna look up at the sky, we're gonna look around and see how dark it is. But with all these cars and stuff, I don't think it's gonna be that dark. Away from here. But as you can see, it was way too crowded and we wanted to get the heck out of there. We decided to try and find a nearby lookout location on a mountain so we could see the darkness for ourselves. Now, to be honest with you guys, our experience in the town felt kind of strange, even comparing it to some of the cult towns we visited in the past. It just felt really weird there. Yes, very unwelcoming and very exclusive. There it is right there, guys. We are so freaking disappointed right now. We are so disappointed because we didn't do our due diligence. We didn't realize that this freaking town was going to be packed with people today. We're just going to sit here and wait and see what the f happens. <laughs> Let's see how dark it is though. It's not the town that's a dark, it's the skies. This is literally like one of the seven only places where it gets really dark. Weird down there guys. I'm a little disturbed. I'm disturbed too guys. I'm worried that they're gonna come after us and follow us home and then they're gonna eat us. They're gonna chop our limbs off. I'm really Well scared. you're going too far now. <laughs> they're really <creepy. laughs> That's a little too far buddy. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay guys, don't worry, don't worry guys. Smash the like button to cheer them up. Well, I think it was a little weird atmosphere down there. It's like the people there, you know, they claim that they're like really inclusive and they want people there. But the whole time we're there, I feel like they're just like, they stare at you like they're rude. You know what I mean? But then when you stare back, they look away. But it's just like, it's not welcoming. I felt like the people in the polygamy coat, cult, coat. <laughs> I felt like the people in the polygamy cult town were more friendly towards us. They just looked worn out and tired and none of them are smiling. It's like nobody's happy. I don't even know what the hell. I've never been to a burning man festival or anything like that but the people down there literally just didn't look happy to me they looked really burned out they looked really tired and they didn't look like they're having fun at all what do, you, what do you guys think yeah they looked like they were having a really bad time yeah they especially when we showed up they were like <laughs> even even worse time slab city was a lot different guys they were a lot more welcoming at slab city they were very friendly towards you at slab city i think these people are just a lot more pretentious they're like you know they're, these are like yuppies who are going to come and pretend like you know they're dirty for a week or something and that's fine if that's what you want to do i just expected a different atmosphere of a more jovial atmosphere of people just having a good time being very welcoming of each other but it didn't seem like that at all it just seemed like a bunch of angry uh tired people so i don't know you guys what i do you expected think? some folk dancing some jazzy music <laughs> happening you expect some, <laughs> there's some river dance going down unfortunately that is not what we got though yeah. i was really looking forward to that folk dance all right guys so we're just gonna wait here until the light goes down and then we'll see how dark it is out here now we waited until it got dark and to be completely honest with you guys it was pretty underwhelming we kept trying to convince ourselves it was super dark it's pretty dark here it's too dark yeah. it's too dark here but looking back on the footage it did seem pretty dark compared to most of the places we have been even in the middle of nowhere even in town there was very little light pollution how are you feeling bob Scared. dude i can't even see you whoa it really is <laughs> but on the ride home we did spot this little sucker guys we have spotted a snake and it's not a flatty is it a flatty Put on your blinker, Dad. What should we name him? He's gonna go to the car, though, guys. I gotta go. Okay. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the subscription button. Make sure you like this video and make sure you let us know in the comments below if you guys like to see us do an in-depth expose on the Burning Man hypocrisy. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Later.